Hi, I'm Chris Converse, and thank you for joining me today. So what I'm going to talk about today is using fill and sign inside of Acrobat to take PDF files, maybe files that weren't intended to be forms, and turn them into forms and then apply our signatures to them. So this can be really helpful for something like an order form um, or even a picture or a scan of a form that doesn't have any fields we can fill out. And so while I'm going to be doing this demonstration, I'm not going to be able to see everything in the chat pod. However, there are some Adobe folks standing by, so um, please send your questions and comments, and um, if any of them get forwarded on to me, I'll uh, repeat them in the demo. But otherwise, let's, uh, let's get started. So on the desktop, I have a warehouse order form, which I'm going to open up here inside of Acrobat. And what I want to do is take this inventory form, which was created inside of uh, Excel using Document Cloud. We covered that in an earlier episode. And I want to use this as uh, the form. I want to sign this so that we can um, use this inventory to um, get our order placed. So with the PDF file open, over on the right-hand side, I have all of my tools saved here. I have fill and sign showing up here. If you want to access fill and sign from the tools menu, you can click on the tools tab and you can scroll down to find fill and sign inside of the form and signatures section. So I'm simply going to click on this. So once I activate fill and sign, I'll get a series of tools across the top of the PDF document. The first one is the text tool. This allows me to add any arbitrary text to a particular PDF file. So I can line this up with form fields if there were some form fields in here. But I want to add my own text in here and just again, turn this into a form. So I'm going to come down here and click in the negative space down in the lower left. And I'm simply going to just type something in here. I'll say this order is approved. By, and then I'll hit a couple of returns and then I'll type in my name. So with that in place, I'll click away. That text has now been added to the PDF file. Next, there's a whole series of other tools up here, um, X's and check marks, circles and dots and lines. Um, but I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select the sign button here. This is going to allow me to create and add a signature to this PDF file. So I'll click on add signature. This will bring up this dialog box here. This will allow me to create my signature in a number of different ways. I can type the signature, I can draw it, or I can use an image. If I click on draw, I am on a computer with a mouse, I can come in here and draw my signature. It is a little difficult to draw with a mouse, so I can give this a shot. If I don't like how this looks, I'll come over here and simply click clear. And let's come over here and choose type instead. So I'll type my name. I'll come down and click apply. Now the name will stick to my cursor. I can come in here and click to apply this to the PDF. Once I click, I can then move this around and I can also scale it. So I'll just drag this up really large. Once I like this, I'll click away. I'm gonna close up the PDF file a little bit so you can see the other options in this panel. So on the right hand side, once I've done this, I can choose to send this out choose sending and tracking, and I can also send this out for other people to sign as well. Or I can simply come up here and just close this and then send this out to whoever needs to receive this particular file. So again, here's a case where I have a file that I'm turning it into a form and adding my signature to it to make use of a PDF that maybe wasn't uh, originally intended to be a form. So another option, something sort of along the similar vein, is if I have a picture of a form where I won't be able to actually fill out the form fields because again, there's no fields in the PDF file. So here we have a JPEG file, which is a picture of a permission slip. And I wanna be able to fill this out and use the same technique with fill and sign. So what I can do inside of Acrobat on the desktop is I can come up to the file menu. I can come down and choose open. I can choose show all files, choose the JPEG form, click open and then Acrobat will take that JPEG file and convert this into a PDF file. Once I'm in PDF, I can come down and choose fill and sign, and I can come in here and I can add my child's name as a field inside of here as well. So instead of doing this on the desktop, I wanna do this on my mobile device because I also want to take advantage of the touch capabilities of my mobile device so I can draw my signature instead of simply typing it. So what I'm gonna do is bring up my mobile device here so I'm now projecting my phone up on the screen. Let's first start by going into my email. So here I have a copy of that JPEG file sent to me. I'm gonna tap and hold on the JPEG file. That's gonna bring up the ability for me to take this file and send it to any other app on my device. I'm gonna choose, open this up in Adobe Reader. So that's gonna bring up the JPEG file here. 
So I'm looking at a preview. So I want to send this up to Document Cloud to convert it to a PDF. So I'll tap the upper left hand icon here, bring up the tools, choose Create PDF. Then I'll tap Create PDF here, down at the bottom. This is going to send this up to Document Cloud. Once Document Cloud is, has completed converting this to a PDF, it's going to send this back down to me so I can open this up. So now I'm going to click on my back button here. So here's my school activities form PDF right here at the top. So I'm going to tap on that to open this up. So now inside of Acrobat, I can see these fields here. Upper left hand corner again, let's go back to the tools. Let's go to fill and sign. This is going to open up a separate application on my phone, completely dedicated to filling and signing this PDF file. So I'm going to scroll up here a little bit. Now by default, we are in the add text mode. So if I simply come in here and tap near where it says child's name, this is automatically going to give me a text field that I can fill in. So I'll simply come in here and type in a name. So I'll type Emily Converse. I'm going to click on the larger letter A here to increase the size of that. I'm going to tap and move this around. I can also tap on the text field and move the text field around as well to sort of line that up. Next for phone, I'll simply tap down here. Just put in a phone number. And then finally for the signature, I'll come down here right above the um, phone number area here above the keyboard. I'm going to tap on the signature. I'm going to choose create signature. That's going to bring up the create signature dialog box here. Now on my computer screen here, I'm going to just scale down the projection of my phone screen here so you can see what's happening. So here I can choose the camera and take a picture of a signature. I'm going to do that next. Uh, I can choose a, an image or a picture of my signature that I've already taken. Or using a stylus, I can actually come in here and sign this just like I would sign a piece of paper. So I'll come in here and just start typing. Actually, I hit clear and do that again. So I can sign my signature. Once I like it, I can come up here and tap done. That's going to give me the signature on my PDF, just like we saw before. I'm going to pinch and zoom to zoom up here a little bit. Now I can tap on the signature and move this down into place. And I can click and drag on the arrows and just position this and scale it to look exactly the way I want it to look. So once I have this in place, I can come up here and simply hit done. So now I still am inside of Acrobat Fill and Sign. So I can open this back up again and I can tap on the send button down here in the lower right and I can send this back over to Acrobat. So I'm not going to do that at the moment because we're going to do that next with another PDF file that we have inside of Document Cloud. So on my phone I'm going to close this out. Let's go back to Acrobat. I'm going to click on the document name to go back to all of my files. I'm going to tap on Recents. I'm going to come down to Document Cloud and I'm going to open up Global Corp NDA. So this is inside of my Document Cloud folder. So when I open this up and make changes, I'll be able to get back to this on my desktop. So I can show you what that uh, workflow looks like. So inside of Global Corp, let's come in here. Let's zoom up. So let's say I want to be a contractor for this company, and this is the NDA that I need to sign. So I'm going to come up here to the upper left-hand corner, choose Fill and Sign again. That's going to bring me back to Fill and Sign. So inside of here, I'll zoom up. Again, I'm in text mode by default, so I'll tap on the upper left-hand corner here. So I'm going to type my name. Once I type my name, I'm going to tap away. Now, fill and sign is going to remember all the different form fields that I've filled out. So let's come over here and I'll just quickly type in an address. Just put a street road. Now I'm going to tap and pan down to the lower uh, right hand corner. If I scale over here, or if I pan over here rather, uh, you could see that Jacob has already signed this. So for print name, I'm going to tap here. And if I start typing my name, as I mentioned before, fill and sign remembers the last time that I filled in that form field with that particular value. So I can come down here, I could, <laughs> so I can come down here and tap on my name and just apply that to that field here. And now I'm going to come down and I'm going to tap on the signature field here. So I don't like that signature I drew earlier, so I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to tap on Create Signature on my 
desktop here, I'll scale this down so you can see what's happening. So what I wanna do here is use the camera and take a picture of a signature. So what I've done is I've signed my name on a pink sticky note. And so I'm gonna use that as the artwork for my signature. So I'm gonna tap on the camera icon here and that's gonna turn on the camera. And so now I can move the camera around. So let's find my signature. I wanna get this as large as I can get it and still have it be pretty much in focus. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna tap on the photo button here tap on the shutter. That's gonna take the picture. I'm gonna choose use photo. Now in this mode here, in the upper corners, I can see the little blue uh, corner icons here. Uh, this indicates that I can create a crop. So I'm gonna come in here and just tap on these. And I wanna put my signature inside of the light blue area. So I'm gonna tap and move this down, get this to about right here. Once I have that cropped properly, I'll come up here and click done. And like magic, fill and sign will automatically extract all of the ink areas, even from that pink background of the sticky note and give me a beautiful looking signature here. So with this in place, I'll come up here and tap on done. That's gonna apply the signature here. So this is the actual signature I had from a piece of paper. Let me scale down here a little bit, increase this, move this down into place. And then once I have this where I like it, I can click done. I'm gonna open this back up one more time. In the lower right hand corner, let's send this over to Acrobat. So I'll copy this to Acrobat. That's gonna take the PDF file, move it over to the Acrobat app on my device. And then from here, I'm gonna tap on the action button here and choose save to document cloud. So that's gonna save my signature back to document cloud. So now back on my desktop, I'll move the phone out of the way. Let's go back to our home. Let's go back to document cloud. Let's find our global court PDF. We'll open this up and see our signature. So I opened the wrong one, so let's go back. There we go, here it is. It took a second to copy over, and now we can see uh, my signature showing up here, which was created from a piece of paper. Um, so with that, we've taken a look at a couple of different ways that we can take uh, PDF files, uh, apply text, apply our signatures, and even apply our signatures in a few different ways by either drawing them or taking a photograph of them or just simply typing them. Um, and so with that, uh, I do have one question I wanted to answer before we go. And that is, um, we're getting a question from Stefan who's asking if he can load a transparent ping file from a signature. So I'm assuming that uh, Stefan actually has taken a picture and maybe used something like Photoshop to, uh, and use channels and layer masks to sort of extract out the signature, very much like what Phil and Sign did for us automatically. Um, and the answer is yes. When you uh, click on the icon for images, you can choose any image and anything that Acrobat understands, including um, uh, ping files. So. The short answer is yes, you can use any artwork for your signature. And so with that, uh, I appreciate you joining me today, and I hope you'll join us on our next episode. Thank you very much.